wait, wait a second. Wait, 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 I, wait, I have Rook F. What am I doing? Wait, wait a second. Wait a second, you guys. Wait, so he's not, if I take, he trades. So if I move my Rook with the double check takes, I win. He goes King G7, Rook D6. Wait a second. This is very dank. And if I go Rook F, but if I go Rook F1, I create a double. Oh, if I go Rook F1, I create a double, double. Rook F1, Queen D5, Queen D5 wins, King G7, Rook B1, and I win. Yeah, I create the double, double. It's, it's just a double, double. All right, looks like a pretty strong field. Um, Hans is playing. It looks like um, Jossman's playing as usual. But again, like I said, no Fabiano, no Levon again, and no Wesley also. So all three of them are missing from this event for a second week in a row, it would appear. Both camps are open. Okay, here we go. Round one, I play Arjun Aragasi. Very strong player. Let's play B3. Stick to our basics again. I'm um, not going to go too far off the beaten path here. Let's play D4. Um... How do I want to take is also an interesting question. I mean, I can I can take with the knight or not. Um, I can also take with the queen. A lot of options here. I think. Think about how I want to do this. I think I'm going to take with the queen. Actually, he has knight c six, and I drop back. I mean, I don't know if this is actually correct, but it looks like a game at least, Yay! kind of. Maybe. Miles Jar 200 just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Okay, so he goes G6. Actually, you know, did I have this against? Um, I think I had this against Jospam recently. I think I had this actually against Jose and um. Yeah, I had this against Jose, so I'm just gonna play G3, and I think I'm gonna play Queen D1. I think against Jose, I did some E3, Queen H4. And it was very, very shaky. Very shaky, to put it mildly. So I'm just going to play simple chess here. Just very basic. Nothing nothing too too crazy. Nothing too off the wall. See what he does here. Rafiki Reimer just subscribed. What's he going to play? I mean, he can castle. He can develop. All kinds of stuff. Okay, so he castles as expected. Of course, I Fion Keto and I castle here. I can also go C4, but no reason not to just finish my development first. Okay, Bishop F5, so I have Knight D4. C4 looks like an obvious move with Knight C3, Knight D4. No reason. Hmm. Now, that is a very peculiar move by Arjun. That is not a move that I expected. Huh. Huh. Seems weird. I'm gonna take with the queen. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is the right capture. But if rook b1, I assume his idea was knight e4 to trade the bishops. Because queen b6, very strange. Not to say this isn't completely fine for black, but kind of a surprising way to play this. I mean, I guess I trade. I have queen b2. I'm not super enthused by his his approach here. I think black is fine, but again, giving me the two bishops sort of just. I don't know. It seems a little bit odd. It just seems touch odd. Okay, so he goes rook d8, so he's a very obvious and valid idea of playing d5. Makes perfect sense. Now the question is, can I go there or not? Let's think about this. There, 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 there. I think it's fine, so I'm... Eh, yeah, so I'm going to play it, because I can just take with a bishop here, open up both of the diagonals, and it seems fine. Again, actually... I need to remember this is 10 oh there's no increment i actually for a second there i forgot because with increment you can use a lot more time but without increment you do need to more or less play on tempo you can't just blitz out every move so i, I do need to keep that in mind as we get deeper in the game that is straight up 10 oh with zero increment i do need to remember that crazy cocky man just subscribed donna walls plus delay walls plus chesscom anti-cheat walls badge i singing for quite a while here I mean, I, relatively speaking, I like my position thus far. I think it's a very, very, very solid position. Okay, it does go d5. And I guess I trade. I rook d1, I've seen... Okay, so he takes with a pawn as expected. Question is, do I play bishop d4? I don't think so. I think I play queen c2, consolidate, try to use the double ops here. I have rook d1, rook c1. I mean, this looks very, very pleasant for me on first glance. 
maybe it's not but on first glance i think i think i should be better in this position it goes a5 reasonable move makes a lot of sense i can play rook a b1 i guess i don't know if rook a b1 is right but i'm assuming that i want to stop a4 and i don't again with this being um 10 plus zero i don't really want to move um too slowly either i can play rook c1 maybe yeah i think i'm gonna go here i have e4 i have bishop a3 i can trade bishop d4 this looks pretty pleasant for me um i don't know if there's like anything special but i, I feel like i should just be a little bit better here it goes 97 so if i trade check and go e4 what's happening let's think about this i mean i feel like i should be better but this is very much about um peace play on the structure of the queen side hmm maybe rook b1 i think actually i put the rooks on the wrong square i should have gone d1 c1 so i had e4 but again as i said this is 10-0 so i can't really um get to be too too slow so i'm gonna go a3 b4 try to play on the queen side here see what he does if d4 i just take take which is good so and i always have queen b2 and b4 as well to prevent this push can't really build a center either so i think i'm i don't know if i'm really better but i feel like i have a very small advantage at the moment let's see what he does he goes queen b8 very logical move um actually i, I think i should have checked first uh, eh, whatever okay so if i take he takes with the pawn if i go queen b2 queen e5 doesn't look all that special f4 obviously is not the idea before i think about this knight c4 b6 queen c7 Ah, eh, whatever let's just go for it i don't want to use too much time here that's the that's the thing again if i use too much time and i get too low bad things could happen um i mean he has this but then i have queen c3 i always have b5 ideas i'm trying to create a pass pawn here on the queen side so i feel like i'm doing relatively well also since i put the rooks on b1 and c1 it also makes sense to try and use these files versus not using them what he does here I mean I feel like this pawn if I get a pass pawn here I think I'm doing pretty well okay it goes 95 I'm gonna trade of course I'm gonna go b5 here and b6 maybe I assume he has to take with the c pawn I mean I think he has to take with the c pawn queen c7 I have b5 I mean e4 at some moment it feels a little <sighs> Ooh, that is not a move I expected. That is kind of a surprise. That's actually a big surprise. I didn't I thought it would take with the C pawn. That feels kind of wrong. Um question is, is there a way for me to punish him for that? What I perceive to be a fairly Yeah, let's just go here in Rook D1. I mean, I perceive this to be a fairly serious mistake. Um Yeah, this looks this doesn't look right. Okay, I go here, I target the pawn. Yeah, I'm I'm actually really shocked he didn't take with the C pawn. Because now he's got a weak D5 pawn. I have Queen B3. If he's lucky, he can draw this. Um if he is he is some way to maybe simplify, but at the same time, if he doesn't simplify, we're headed towards some kind of very unpleasant end game here where I'm gonna get a great op, maybe even a wooden shield at some point. And so I'm not so in love with the way that Arjun has played this. I'm already up a minute on the clock as well which plays which should matter quite a bit later on up a minute better position almost no chances to lose I mean this really is what you're hoping for okay so first of all this gives me queen b2 ah then he has queen f6 or something and queen b5 knight f3 okay again I don't want to use too much time here I use too much time bad things will happen so on that note gotta be some way to win the pawns um knight f3 king h1 knight f3 king h1 rook a2 that doesn't look right okay so if i take rook a2 oh he's got rook a2 right away as well so probably not the right idea um hmm. again i don't want to use too much time here but it's kind of hard not to what do i do here rook d5 is move 
Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's not the move that I want to play, but I'm getting a little bit low on time, so I don't want to get too low. So I think I'm just going to take all the risk out of the position first. Take it out. Take the risk out of the position with the rook d5, because obviously, as I've said many times, if you draw games, it's not the end of the world. If you lose games, it is, however, the end of the world. So I'm going to go queen e4, target the knight. This queen f6 logical, as expected. Um, I guess I'll just go king g2. No reason not to. I am better here. I, I'm just not much better. That's the only thing. I don't like h5 here because now after h3, maybe there's f4, maybe not. But I mean, it just it feels like it's a very small, feels like a very small advantage for me. I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to prove the advantage, but I feel like let's go here in rook c7. Actually, this makes a lot of sense because b4 I can cut him off with bishop b3 maybe, or just go back with b1. what he's gonna do here <clears throat> I also have f4 as well f4 is a big threat here f4 and rook c7 is really a big threat so let's see what he's gonna do here He's thinking for quite a while. He's thinking what I'm going to play. Mm -hmm. That looks fine too. Okay. Either I'm going to be a hero or I'm going to be a total zero, but I'm going to go for it. This is either a great move or a very bad move. Let's go here. Because B3, my idea is F4, FE5. That's my idea. And I don't know if it actually works, but I mean, as, I, as I'm thinking about it, I think it does. And so that's why I'm playing it really quickly here. I'm also up on the clock again, which... Okay, so he does it. Okay, so I mean, maybe this works. Maybe it doesn't. We're going to find out. I mean, I have queen d4 here. This, I mean, it feels very sharp. I also could have gone queen d4 right away, maybe. Okay, whatever. I mean, it's chess. Let's let's see what he does here. Uh, so we're now looking at the game of Hikaru. Um, I believe I believe he's playing against Arjuna Gaisi. So let's have a look how they are doing. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, I see that the position is pretty balanced, but it feels like Hikaru is pushing a lot here. Obviously, we need to be worried about this pawn on B3. Um, but yeah, so far, Hikaru seems to be doing fine as he's putting a lot of pressure on this pawn on F7. What can Arjun do? And he goes for B2. He believes in the power of the pawn. He believes in it and he queens. He promotes with B1. Now there's two queens on the board for black, but one of them is straight out hanging thanks to the pawn on E5. And there's a discovered check coming in if the rook moves away. Indeed, indeed. So um, yeah, now indeed rook F1 check should be winning the game already uh, because you will simply be uh, ahead on material, uh, I believe. Uh, it's very complicated, Anna. It's very sharp. Having three queens on the board is not easy <laughs> to do. I with. know, but luckily for us, uh, and luckily for the player with the white pieces, it's Hikaru, and I think he already has it figured out. Just look at him. He's confident. He's explaining his calculation to his viewers. Oh, wait, did, did I jinx it? <laughs> and <Anna, laughs> you need to stop me. <laughs> I might have actually... Wait, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. I Wait, I have Rook F... What am I doing? Wait, wait a second. Wait a second, you guys. Wait, so he's not, if I take, he trades. So if I move my rook with the double check takes, I win. He goes king g7, rook d6. Wait a second, this is very dank. And if I go rook f, but if I go rook f1, I create a double. Oh, if I go rook f1, I create a double, double. Rook f1, queen e5, queen e5 wins, king g7. 
Rook B1 and I win. Yeah, I create the double double. It's it's just a double double. Very dang. Yeah, queen. Yeah, I, I win the game. Okay. Yeah, this is game over. This is a very weird. This is not a common theme that you'll see though, where like both queens are under attack. Very very bizarre because actually what I calculated when when, when he was thinking for that time there right here when you're seeing this is actually the line i was calculating was i saw that on this one i saw king h8 and then i saw takes rook b2 rook f2 which is just winning this is this is what i saw and this is uh yeah this is just winning so i saw that i had this rook f7 because if i do the other order it doesn't work if i take he actually checks king f3 and i get mated from behind after queen f1 here and i lose the game so it's pretty dang but i saw rook f7 so when he was thinking in this position when he was thinking right here this was where i was thinking if he goes before rook c7 i saw rook f7 check and i can block with rook f2 um but i actually did miss that after f4 he is knight d7 this i didn't see this because the only two lines i calculated when i was looking at it were um was uh, this one or the other one which was b3 f4 b2 takes but then again i capture the queen with check and he loses so i saw this one and I saw this other one with b3, f4, b2. And I saw here and I thought, okay, I just take. And, and of course I take, because on rook b2, I can go rook f2, game over. Um, and so that's what I saw. But then he scared me with king g. I'm like, wait a second, what's going on? Because he's going to capture my queen with check. So I thought, like, for the first, like, 30 seconds there, I thought after rook at rook f6, king h8, I thought, wait a second, but he can capture. But he actually can't capture because my bishop guards the queen. So basically, it's just, just game over. Um, but when he was thinking here i did suddenly notice he did have knight d7 queen d4 knight f6 takes king h6 but i thought here okay at the very least i can also just sack everything back and we we draw the game with the four versus two um but the only other thing i was calculating when he was thinking here was maybe he goes king h7 i thought at the very least i have bishop f7 takes takes and if b2 i go bishop bishop a2 and okay i saved i'm safe at least um so that's that. Oh, Wesley, Levon, and Fabian are all on the way to Romania today. Aha. Uh aha, -huh. uh aha, -huh, aha. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, that, that does make quite a bit of sense. But anyway, okay, so we get the win. Um, Get the win in round one. Yeah, this is a big game for me. I, I think I need to win this game. Play C5. Okay, so I'm going to go E3 to stop D6. Okay, let's go here. Okay, so he's playing this too. So I played d4 takes I mean I looked at this very briefly didn't the computer say that white is better here or something um after c4 I don't know I thought the computer said white's better here so I'm just gonna play it I don't I don't know if this is actually right but I feel like when I looked very briefly at that Vita game for the five seconds afterwards it was saying something like this is better as I recall I mean I could just be insane maybe white's not better at all who knows but actually I think queen h4 was maybe the right move no, maybe not. Actually, I'm kind of confused. Whatever. Okay, it goes bishop e6, which is interesting. I guess his idea is to play g6 or something. It feels kind of weird, though. I mean, it feels very slow as well, somehow. This doesn't seem quite right to me. I don't know if c5 is a move here, but I feel like Jose's... I'm playing something that's a little bit a little bit suspect it's a little sus but I don't know if I can actually punish it that's the only problem I mean I can play knight d2 and play an end game cd5 queen d5 is not really well if I take and takes with a queen I can also play like queen a4 this doesn't look quite right but proving it is a whole different matter altogether um and especially in a 10-0 game it's a little bit nasty to play this I guess I'm gonna take and go like queen f4 or something not really sure about any of this oh he takes with a bishop now that actually I'm a little bit surprised to see I don't know why I'm surprised to see it but I am surprised to see it for some reason yeah why why what am I doing even this doesn't make any sense at all oh I'm just not on my game today I am just not on my game um Okay, let's do something bizarre. I'm gonna do something a little bit wild here. Or 
I'm just an idiot. Actually, I thought I could play Knight C3, E6, Castles, and I forgot he could go back to C6. What even am I doing? Guess I'll go here. I'm going to actually chuck a pawn. I'm going to chuck a pawn with Rook G1 and play Rook D1. I don't know if this is good. Oh, he just goes... He's got this move to try and flatten the game again. Yeah, this is really not my day so far. Ack. But if I go Queen G3... Oh, no. Queen G3 has got Queen A5. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Take... I actually I can castle here maybe castles c3 bishop c3 knight c3 bishop c6 I think I have to just take and go f3 e4 I'm not very happy about this but it's what it is it's an end game it goes there I assume I can go here because I still have bishop c3 and rook c1. Might be a slight mistake because he actually has a problem now with the pawn on g7. Pawn on g7 can't ease, like he can't go bishop c5 because he hangs the pawn. He can play f6, but now I have rook c1 and it starts to feel a little bit unpleasant for black, I think, here. It's not losing or anything, but it starts to feel just a little bit unpleasant. See what he does. I mean, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down some time here, which is not not ideal, of course. But let's see. The good thing is it's an end game, so I should be able to actually move pretty quickly here. I shouldn't really get into danger, um, because his moves are actually much harder. Like I have a very basic idea: Rook D1, Rook C1, and develop. He has to figure out how do we how does he develop on the king side and then he has to meet my threats in the center of the board as well so even though he's up 10 seconds he's gonna have to use quite a bit of time on the next couple of moves um in all likelihood and my move should be like five ten seconds max and the fact that he's actually thinking for a while here it tells me that he's realizing there's some some issues so i mean rook ac1 is not the right move. i think this is the right square to go 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 to I mean, I have to stop Bishop C5, of course. This is imperative. Let's see what he does here. It was Bishop E7. I mean, Rook C2 seems like a completely reasonable move here. Oh, but it doesn't do any... Oh my gosh, it doesn't even do anything. You can just castle. But whatever, okay. Should have gone Bishop D4. Yeah, I'm not playing very well at the moment. Even King F1 was a better move than this, but let's just go here. Just a little bit flat today. A little bit flat in the openings. But I am up on time here. So, you know, the fact that I'm up on time should probably count for something later on. And I still don't have this quite yet, but I mean, I can also maybe sack on C6, Bishop C4. I mean, while this should be a draw, it's not so easy for, for black to play. And I am up a minute. Most importantly, I'm up a minute and there's no increment. If there was increment, I think he'd be fine here. Without increment, this could get a little bit tricky to play for black. Definitely could get tricky. See what he does. And the fact that he's thinking for so long also makes me fairly optimistic about all this, about what's going on. So I think... Okay, bishop d4 seems like a pretty reasonable move here to go bishop b6, maybe e4, bishop e3. I mean, I think now bishop a6 is an actual threat because the bishop is weak on c6. So 
feels a little bit scary for black not sure how scary it is but it feels a little bit scary And the fact that he's thinking so long here tells me that he does feel a little bit uncomfortable with what's going on. Okay, plays bishop b5. Interesting move. I mean, I can obviously trade. I don't think I I, I don't think I do, actually. I mean, maybe I should have played no, but a4 didn't didn't ever work. So well, let's think about it. So if I go a4, he trades. Yeah, let's just do a4 and trade. I could trade the bishops, but I think I really want my rook going to c7 here. I think this... It's still so minor, though. It's just not very much. The thing is, it, it is... The thing, though, is most importantly, though, it is it is 10-0. There's no increment. I just need to keep that in mind um, for later on. I think a4 is also a bad move. I feel like everything I've done in this game was bad. Yeah, like, I, th I think here, king f1 was the right move, obviously. That was the first thing that I did wrong. And then again, I think king f1 was the right move here. And now I just have nothing. Yeah, he, he spots it, which I'm not, not shocked by at all. Um, I can play rook c8, however. No, it's just, just a draw. I just have nothing here. I guess I'll still do it though try and trade some rooks Oof. definitely not spotting things today though so I guess I should be happy I won the first game though because if I hadn't won the first game this would be a lot scarier at least with a win in the first game a couple draws just win a game win a game somewhere I can I can probably still qualify I as Jose is moving very slowly that is the one thing here like if, if this wasn't 10-0 I, I mean I, I understand it but in 10-0 you have to be very careful okay so I take I go here of course I go here of course because now I mean there's f8 also I mean it's a little bit tricky little little bit tricky because rook c2 I have king d1 which I think he missed it's still completely fine for black, of course, but just it's a little bit tricky. Oh, I also had bishop a5, maybe, which was possibly a move. Okay, so if I go e4, which I think I kind of have to do. Eh, no, but this is not going anywhere. I'm going to have to play, like, h6. I go, like, rook b8 and bishop... Oh, wait. Did I have bishop a5 there? Am I just an idiot? I just had bishop a5 there. What the heck? Okay, I'm actually... Yeah, I'm actually just throwing. What the heck was that? Bishop a5 and I'm just completely... Completely fine. Absolutely abysmal. Abysmal. Bishop a5 was the move and I didn't play it. Rook c6, rook b8, and I might even be winning there. The heck was that by me? <sighs> yeah. Not good at all. Yeah, I'm definitely not playing well. That, that much is for sure. Let's go h4 here. Maybe g4, h5. Try to make this a little bit uncomfortable. Unbelievable, actually. Bishop, bishop a5 is such an obvious move, too. Ugh. Trying to maybe do something with, with the pawns and maybe rook f8, something, something to make him a little bit uncomfortable here. I mean, he's way down on time. It goes bishop f4, reasonable move. Um, h5 is a move. I think I'm going to play... Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to take my chances here and try to make it work with like a rook b8 at some point. I go here. 
I go here and then rook b8 that's 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 what I'm banking on I don't know if this is actually good it goes rook b1 which probably is a good move um question is do I check ch oh, wait I have check check and and see this is where I need to like not move instantly I need to actually use the time advantage that I built up here rather than just moving instantly like an idiot rook f8 king e6 rook e check check takes rook b3 I think that's actually a good move so let's go here okay, let's go here I mean he has rook b3 I mean I just assume that this is winning so I win the pawn but I could be completely wrong too it's bishop g5 I mean rook h7 is a move rook f7 maybe is also a move. I mean I feel like Jose's gotten really careless with this though I, I just don't understand why he's done this so I'll just take but, I mean I also have bishop f6 at some point too oh, wait let me think about this okay so I assume king f1 is right now if I take take rook h6 b4 takes king c5 I mean, I assume this is winning, unless I'm just stupid. Okay, it goes king c5. So now the question is, do I play h6 or do I go like king g1? This is still very, very tricky. This should be winning for me, though. If I play this correctly, this should be winning. Let's go here. Yeah, it goes b3 as expected I assume I go here that I think is a mistake however because I have king g1 maybe b1 no I think this is a mistake let's go here because I have h6 what oh I don't have h6 oh I don't have h wait no I do have eight wait what am I doing think I can also go g4 is rook a7 what does that do that does nothing go here no I, I'm just winning now okay now I'm just winning let's go g6 resigns we get the win okay that was horrible that was extremely extremely poor by Jospin I don't know what that was that was like no no bueno no bueno you guys completely no bueno I don't know what that was I mean this was just this was just I mean right here yeah oh Bishop, Bishop d2 maybe I'm, I'm, I'm always a little bit better here wait maybe I actually misevaluated this wait a second oh computer actually always says it's kind of okay but e4 was a bad move Bishop d2 okay what up whatever oh wow so actually it's kind of weird I apparently played this very well apparently I played this quite well towards the end wow okay hmm. I didn't think I played it well but apparently I did all right let's take a look at the standings here we go I mean obviously a little bit tight right now I'm in fifth place there are three people on four and a half so it's not a guarantee one two three four five on four so not a lot on four but again yeah I think I need to beat. I think I'm gonna have to play Billy or Amina and I think I have to beat one of them I think that's just all there is to it if I beat them I'm guaranteed uh to make it in that's what I would say so all right let me take the headphones off because we should be starting immediately um let me turn on the cam and there we go okay round number eight coming up in a second both cams on there we go yeah 
No, very unfortunate that um, that Noterbeck didn't 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 lose that because you see I have the best tiebreaker as well. I've got a big fat tiebreaker here, eighteen point seven five. So if Noterbeck loses, I would be in fourth and I'd be looking really good because Noterbeck doesn't lose Dion. It's kind of sketchy still. I still think five and a half is going to get me in, but I I, I definitely want to win against Billy Kimba. Got to go for it. Okay, let's minimize. Get both cams on. Got both cams on. Good. Let's go. I'm going to play E3, not B3 against Billy. Okay, let's go for it. Hmm. Uh. Okay, this is, that's right. Billy is the guy who actually has one of these silly openings prepped. So I am going to do something strange, I think. Let's just go here. I don't want to get a King's Indian here. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to play chess. I'll just go Bishop E2 trade and just play chess. I, I don't want to get into a King's Indian attack um, where like I could just lose the game very quickly because I was completely lost in a King's Indian attack last time we played. D3, I just castle, of course. Again, 10 0, so time does matter somewhat. Let's just castle. Um, I mean, I guess I'm going to play F4. I don't know if it's the right move, but I just want to play chess. Keep it simple. Keep it free flowing. Keep it easy. Let's go here. Obviously, I'll drop the knight back in a move or two. I also have E4, maybe. Maybe just knight F3 back and then E4. I'm back. I'm going to play 95, maybe E4 next move. Let's see what he does. <sighs> Plays A5, which I think is actually kind of wrong. So I think after A4, he trades, I get the stack. I can also take on F6 here, maybe. Question is, do I want to take on F6? It's an interesting question. A4, Knight, D7. Bishop F6, work A4 and C4. I'm not happy with this. Feels a little bit. I'm a little bit uneasy about this position. But I mean, again, if he gets a four, should I really be that concerned? I don't think so. Now he goes ninety seven. Logical. And play c four at some point. I can also play for ninety five, maybe. Again, though, I'm not happy with my position here. Again, I can also play e four. Maybe e four. No, c four has got to be the right move. It just looks like the right move. I, I have to close this diagonal and go like rook a3. Not so happy though. Not so happy with this. I think f4 is a poor choice. I think it was a little bit too aggressive by me. Let's go here. Again, I try to keep pressure on the third rank. Now there's no c4 either. This is a4 immediately. Okay. So I can play rook a1 here, which is obviously a move. Knight before 91. And also just take, wait, if I take 94 rook a1, maybe? I guess I'll just take. Why not? And though, I mean, it's going to be very hard to win this. That's the problem with this position. I'll play rook a1 and just trade, I guess. Oh, this is not what I wanted, though. I'm trying to figure out how I can maybe create play. I guess I just go here and trade. But yeah, this is not what I wanted. I, I will say that with some certainty. Also, the time situation is not wonderful either here. Like, I'm not, like, up a bunch of time. Very symmetrical. Yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want. <laughs> I mean, it's symmetrical, fairly flat. He is trying to think here, though, which is a little bit surprising, I guess. Hmm. 
Play his bishop f6, which I assume is a try and force a draw. It's a very solid kind of move, not, not the moves that I would necessarily want to see in a, in a must-win game. That much is for sure. Um, I can obviously trade and play rook a6 and cd5, ed5, and d4 maybe? d4, cd4, queen d5? Not so clear. I don't want to go d4. So the moves that I have to consider are bishop b7, or bishop f6, I mean. Um, bishop f6, rook b3 maybe? Not what I wanted at all. This is not what I was hoping for. Maybe I can try to go knight b3. No, that's no good. Rook a6. I think I'm going to take and go queen d1. Maybe just queen a1 and keep it solid. Definitely not what I was hoping for. That, that much I can say without a doubt. Time is still balanced though, so it's not like time is a big, big issue. So he takes on C4, which I'm actually kind of surprised to see. Very surprised to see that actually, because now I have Queen A1, maybe Knight E4 is lurking. It's still, I mean, it's still very much unclear, but, or it's very unclear, but I don't actually like that move by Matt Lakov. Still obviously a draw if he plays it correctly, but eh, it feels a touch iffy. Knight before allows 95. I have rook a6, and I control the center. Just a touch iffy here for, for, uh, for Billy, or for, for, uh, for Maxime, I should say. Um, rook a6 is obviously a move again. I don't really want to play it. Rook a6, rook a, rook b8, queen a1 maybe? Actually, maybe even queen b1. Wait a second. I feel like... Wait, I feel like there's some kind of trick here. Queen, rook a6. Wait, queen b1. Knight b4. thing is, somehow I have to get my pieces on the, on the right files though as well. Knight g5, h6 is not what I want. Although I get knight e4. I'm gonna go here. I have knight g5, maybe. I'm still not super enthused by the position, I have to say. Thing is, I am holding critical square, so I can maybe go knight e5, knight f3. Tricky position. It goes rook b8, which does give me knight g5. So now he does have an actual threat. It's a good question. Why did I allow Rook B8? That's just stupid by me. Actually, just kind of really stupid by me. <sighs> Why did I do that? Let's just go here. I'm just gonna. I'm just playing moves now. I'm gonna try to just play some moves, get some development. H3, King H2, maybe get something going on the king side. Of course, I go H3. Probably I want to go queen c3 and knight e4 maybe. But again, very hard to play. For, for a win, I should say. And I missed queen c3. Queen c3 was right there in my face and I allowed e5. Ah, oh, really just not my day today. Yeah, I mean, I almost can't win now. I just allowed the stupid e5 move. It's ridiculous. <sighs> I guess I'll go here and take. Really not playing well today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just missing everything under the sun right now. Yeah, queen c3 was such an obvious move to take away e5. And then I just played h3 for no reason. I mean, he could have done it right away too, but like, ugh. I'm up on time. That's the one thing I have going for me. Maybe the only thing actually that I have going for me here.
using a lot of time, which is good. Okay, so he takes, I think E4 is actually very strong for him. I mean, I'm kind of happy he didn't do it. I think E4 is very, very good. I bet after the game when I look, I bet it was like minus one or something if he'd done it. Now I think I should be able to draw this without any real, any real difficulty. Again, draw isn't really what I want here, but it's not, not the end of the world. No, I mean, I, I mean, maybe if I can somehow take the E5, but he plays Rook A, which I think is actually a very... Mm, is that a good move or is that actually not a good move? Wait a second. Rook A looks kind of suspicious. Suspicious. Okay, of course I have to trade because the knights are too strong. I mean, queen B1 maybe? Or queen B2? I think I'm going to go here. I mean, this obviously is a draw with perfect play, but maybe, just maybe, if I get a knight to the center, queen F5, start to massage the position just a little bit, I can create some threats. Like, I already have queen b5 here, but then, wait, queen b5? Queen b6? Wait a second. Queen b5, queen b6, knight e4, trade, knight a7 is a draw. Queen f5, knight e7, queen e4, knight b6. Oh, it feels like there should be a tactic here for me somehow, but I do not see it, unfortunately. Maybe queen e4, queen e4 to go queen e8. And knight e4. Eh. Uh, I feel like there's a tactic, but I don't see it. So I think I just have to move quickly here. I just have to trust my instinct and go kind of quick. Maybe knight b6, I have knight b3 also. Actually, knight b6, I have knight b3, which is kind of a little bit scary, I think. I mean, I'm definitely trying to put pressure on him here. What he does. I have a feeling I might have to go for a flag in this game too if the if the situation arises. No. Of course I go here. This queen d6, I now have knight d3 also. Like it's I mean it's obviously a draw with correct play, but try I'm just trying to create some some little wrinkle where he gets nervous and blunders, basically. I also think I should have probably checked for uh, g6. That feels like a bad move some. Uh wait, queen e3? I also have knight g4 or something. Wait, how is there not a win? Or knight 6 king h8? <laughs> okay, I don't have a lot of time here. Knight g4 is not right. Knight d3, knight f5, king h2, knight d6. Somehow I have to stop him. I mean, g4 is a move, but it's not the move I want to play. We need three. Knight of five, I don't have it either. Four. Let's just do it. This is my initial instinct. I don't know why I didn't just play it right away. Go here, target the pawn, target the check, target diagonals. But there's still games going on in this penultimate round. Hikaru here with the white pieces against Maxim Matlakov. After the queen check, Blake needs to be careful where to place the king. Because uh, this uh, queen and knight combo is tricky. Indeed. Typically, you um, are very worried to retreat to g8. 
uh, as you do not have uh, so much space uh, on the, uh, towards F8 and E8, you don't have so much space there. But in this situation, you're not that worried as once the knight goes to F6, you'll be able to hide on F8. Um, there's plenty of space for the king. So as the knight, one of the knights is still on the other side of the board, you should still be fine. But this is definitely not a pleasant position for uh, Matlakov. And uh, here we see some checks being given um and i would be worried about a move like knight e5 on the next move yes this is certainly still quite some pressure on black as you mentioned not easy to defend also time pressure so pressure on the board pressure on the clock hikaru here with the white pieces definitely will not repeat moves i have knight c5 maybe got knight c4 unbelievable wait knight g6 and 96 Wait a second, it, man, it feels like there should be something here. Knight c5, knight c4, knight e6, maybe? Go here. Oh, he's got knight h5. Crud. I missed knight h5. <sighs> it's still a draw, but I mean, I just... Ah, oh, fudge. Oh wait, no, I've not wait, no, I've 90 wait, no no wait, I've 96 maybe. Wait. Maybe I've 96? No, wait, maybe. No, wait, I have this. Wow, speaking of 96. Goodness me. 96, what a move by Hikaru. Knight e6, both queens are hanging. So if knight takes f6, knight takes c7. And if the knight is taken, uh, then he will take... Wait a second, how is the line? He will take on g6, knight oh, g7. After f6, e6, uh, let's have a look. I believe there is... Okay, so after... Oh, the players did not believe yeah, the line. They, they went for a different <laughs> line, so we need to analyze the knight end game because it's only a minute left for Maxim Matlakov, two minutes for Hikaru, and the passed pawn, that C passed pawn, is hard to stop. I'm up a minute on the clock, so I, because I'm up a minute on the clock, I assume this is... Okay, I take. Okay, so let's go. Uh, Got to get the knights back. Let's go here. And I mean, I just have to move quickly. That's the bottom line. Go here. Why am I getting stupid requests? Let's go here. Maybe 95. Bring the knight in. I'm up a pawn here in this end game. Like... How bad can this really be? I guess I'll go here in King G2, maybe. He plays Knight 6 now by trade. I don't know if that's actually good, so let's go here. I, I mean, I have to play on the clock here, 100%. Uh, yeah. If H4, I'm going to go G4, I think. Um... Uh, wait, can I, uh, takes to, wait a second, knight g5, knight g2, king e2, g4, yeah, I think this wins, king e2, knight e4, g4, and I'm winning, <sighs> okay, let's go, and g4, or king e, actually, king e3 also works, I think. Yeah, king e3 also works. So I'm, I'm winning. Yeah, he has to move the knight, and then I get the knight back in. Yeah. This way, I can just bring the knight back, and I keep the 3v1 on the king side. And he resigns. Mm, there we go. There we go. What a win. Jeez, that was hard. Very hard. Whew. Okay, let's see. Was 96 right? Okay, obviously, this is wild. I did the tickle. Oh, knight takes f7 maybe is the move? Hmm, okay. I go here. Oh, and knight, yeah, so actually 96 saves it. Wow, what a game. All right, you guys, I'm going to run to the restroom really fast, and I'll be right back. I, I actually need to use the restroom after that game. So I'll be back in one second. I think we have her standing, so let's take a look right now. As it stands, there are people on four. Um, 
but it's looking like uh let me i think you guys can see you can see the top eight but let me scroll down a little bit um it looks like as it stands we're gonna have uh one two three four people on five and a half qualifying today it's just it's unclear which four um but it looks like arjun and roundock the two indian juniors are both gonna miss out they're gonna be number nine and number ten which is really kind of kind of unfortunate um if we scroll down you can see champ and um champ and gandavim five and a half but very bad oh very bad tie breaks for gandavim 9.25 so so it's looking like the pairings are going to be i'm going to play vd it looks like in the first round tomorrow as it stands right now i'm probably going to play vd uh Noterbeck plays grishuk amin plays billy kimba or also known as uh, matt lakoff so that's the, that looks like the standings but again there still are a handful of games going which i guess we'll still watch